What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. Welcome to the Loot Crate unboxing for the month of September. And I know we are right into October now. October is full swing, but lately, I'm sure as you guys have known, uh, my Loot Crates have been arriving a little bit later than normal. Um, I've had this in a couple of days already, but I just had Thanksgiving weekend and I couldn't even touch it at all on Thanksgiving. You know, I just, you know, spent time with all the various families that I have. There's tons of family, so I wanted to see those guys and I didn't really want to think about doing you know anything in regards to this I wanted to focus on that but we're here and I'm ready to unbox it was gonna be late anyway right so might as well wait a couple extra days until we have some time to actually get into our loot crate so anyway we're gonna pop this puppy open and get started uh, where is the front oh it's right around here so all right right off the bat I could see a couple of cool looking things but before we do as you know especially with loot crates we have to go into the bottom without trying to spoil too much. It's very difficult, I know. So, now I'm looking forward to this one for a couple of reasons. Now, today, the theme for September, I'll give you guys a cover to cover. Speed. So we're gonna have, hopefully, some really cool car-related items in here. So, uh, I can't wait to check it out. So anyway, let's go ahead and remember, back to front, and we'll kind of take a look and see uh, if there's any special goodies. Um, that we can mention without spoiling what's inside the crate. I will give you guys the Mega Crate here. One lucky winner gets the Mega Crate. It's worth $2,000. A curved UHD TV from Samsung. Uh, it's 55 inch. I would really enjoy that. I, I, I have had the same LED TV for the past six years, over six years. I bought that when LEDs uh, were pretty new. It was like the first, I think they first came out in 2009. And I bought that in like May of 2010. And LED TVs were like big, you know, they're like, oh, the new thing. And I bought it then and I got a good deal on it, but it's still going strong. That's the thing about LEDs. That's why it's a good investment. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, uh, PlayStation 4 500 gig console, Batman Arkham Knight bundle, limited edition. So that limited edition Arkham Knight bundle that came out um, last year, uh, you can get it in here. Also a museum replica, uh, from, wait, what is this? Iron Man 2 LED arc reactor. I'm sorry my glasses aren't on. I can't really see that well. Prop replica. That's pretty neat as well. Also, a Battlestar Galactica complete series Blu-ray collection set. That's a really awesome set. Um, I've never watched Battlestar Galactica, but a lot of people who know me tell me, like, Dan, you'd enjoy it. I think you should go watch it. And a lot of, uh, of my subscribers said the same thing. You know, Dan, I think you'd really like Battlestar Galactica. You should give it a watch. So maybe that's something I should do. Uh, and also, you get Icon Heroes, Arrow and the Flash, from the TV series, of course. Uh, HQ resin paperweight statues. So they're probably not that massive, but they could very well be relatively sized, like kind of like that. But I'll show you guys in a moment. And of course, the mini mega crate. 15 lucky winners will get the mini mega crate, which, can, which contains a uh, surreal entertainment, Stark Industries laser etched glass tumbler. Two pack of tumbler glasses. That's cool when they're laser etched, they're actually cut into the glass. And of course, Magic 8-Ball Batman Edition action game. So there you go, that's what we got. So the top line right here, anything below this line here, those are the minis. So I'll give you guys a look there as best you can see it, hopefully. Perfect. All right, we move back. More epic loot, higher octane. There's tons of it, there's tons of things, man. There's like so many exclusive edition crates now coming out, you know what I mean? Like obviously the Gears of War 4 Loot Crate Edition includes a seven inch Lancer replica. That is pretty damn boss. I mean, seven inches isn't that big, it's about that. But still, that's pretty cool. And it comes with a couple other things as well. Digital game code, wow, not bad. A few other things as well, if you're interested in reading the uh, Loot for Fangirls crate. Oh, there's an actual crate for fan girls, so it's like all probably female related items, so you can never get that gone. You know, a couple of goodies here. The WWE Slam crate, that's a new item. All right, I think that's about it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil too much, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right here. If it'll stay, it's got the back kinda leaning. It's leaning, he's leaning, anyway. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, and there is a t-shirt, so you know I'm gonna grab it. All right, let's take a look at this. I am kind of interested to see. That is exactly what it is. Too bad it's not an eight, but that's okay. I'll, 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 I'll let them have it this time. So we have a themed, it is Iron Man themed. Check it out. Stark Industries, or Stark Motor Racing with the number 11. It should be a number eight, but 
that's okay. This is Stark. This isn't me, right? So anyway, we're gonna do some serious magic. We gotta do it really fast. Now this is appropriate because I do this really fast every time. But this time it's gonna be super fast when we put this shirt on. You guys ready? It's gonna be as quick as you can imagine. Whoa! There it is, guys. See? It's way faster. And this is like a really solid fit. You remember how I was saying Loot Crate shirts have really stepped it up? Like this isn't actually a Loot Crate branded shirt. I, I don't think. No, it's not. It's actually a Gildan shirt. And if you remember, those are their old ones. But this one fits rather well. I think it's a cool looking design. I like the racing style look there. That is awesome. Can't, gotta respect that. All right, let's keep going. Let's see. Oh, there's stuff just smuggled in everywhere. You know what? I'll get this out of the way just because it's the pin. So we have the speed pin and... Oh, this is cool. Hold on. I'll pull it out. Just give me a moment. Um, it is themed accordingly, obviously. Uh, we have a smoking tire that says Loot Crate on it. I'll spin it so it looks legit. If Actually, it's pretty on there. Be able to spin it without ripping anything. So there you go. This is a nice slight. Oh, that is how it is. Loot Year. It says Loot Year on it. That is so cool. I'll, I'll, hopefully you guys will be able to see that. That is so awesome. Little pins. I really like the, 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 the updated pin look. It's real. They're really going all out. All right. Coming up next, we have from Battlestar Galactica. It is a Titan, or yes, a Titan vinyl figure of a Cylon Raider. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna slide this out and give you guys a nice little view as per usual. Just, oh, there's a couple extra things here. What is this? Oh, that's the stand it comes on, so. Woo! You guys know how it is. It's just, just a minute, I can get it out. Ready? Woo! <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and actually Plant this puppy right on the stand. Actually, bear with me while I figure this out. As you guys know, it always takes me a moment. Actually, that was mad simple. It, it went on really nice. At least I think that's how it goes. Is it meant to do that? I would assume so. Yeah, because it goes in the back. So there you go. I'm going to put this down for you guys. Look at that. That looks really cool. That's a nice little addition. You got to respect that. Come on, man. That's dope. That's dope as hell. So I'm going to put this over here in front of that. That's neat. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, there's tons of everything, isn't there? <laughs> Ooh! This I can respect as well. We have ourselves a 60, 1 to 64. So those are like the Hot Wheels size. Uh, gone in 60 seconds, Eleanor. So it's a Shelby GT500, 1967, I believe, GT500. So in silver, yes, it is, 67 GT500. This thing is a beauty. I'm sure everyone's seen Gone in 60 Seconds by now. If you haven't, well, you should probably go watch it. I believe that came out, that film came out in 99, good God. And just, it's, it's crazy. So you know what, I, I'm, I'm really happy about this. It's Eleanor, baby. But you know how Eleanor is. She always gets people in trouble, so let's put her down here before she does anything. She bites me, you know what I mean? That's awesome. I've always been a fan of die cast. I actually have a big die cast collection. I mainly collect the one to 18 ratio, but this is the one to 64, it's the smallest one. So it's the most pocket sized, if you will. So that really helps you there. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. Ooh, I may have to give this to my girlfriend, but we have a Batman metal Batwing keychain. She's gonna want to put this on her on her uh, on her keys. Eh, obviously. Where else would you put it? Well, I'm sure you can figure out some places, but check it out. This is actually a this is a super nice. It's it's heavy metal. It actually is the Batwing. Uh, I'll do my best to show you guys as well, but uh, it's I think it's actually made of diecast metal as well. It's got that hard kind of metal. Ting ting, you hear the ting ting? Ting ting ting. <laughs> ting ting. But yeah, you got the bat wing. Try and keep it flat, but again, it's really small, so I do I'll do my best to show you. Obviously. Really nice. That's a nice addition as well. I'm gonna lay that right here. A lot of small items in here so far, guys. Alright, I don't I'll just make sure there's nothing underneath. Okay. So this looks like our last item before the box turns into something magical. So this is a hoodies collectible auto ornament. What? Is this a flash? It's one or the other. You either get Flash or you get Arrow. So let's open this. We got Flash. All right, let's see. So apparently the idea is that you put this on your car. It's got like a rubber bottom. And I think, I don't know if it's like one of those lick it and stick it, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like, and then you just right on your hood and it sticks there kind of like those like Magnets, I'm gonna take a look at the box actually, I threw it away. All right, place your hoodie on your auto. 
Please note that Hoodie's magnetized base will not function on non-ferrous surfaces, including fiberglass, aluminum, carbon fiber, and stainless steel. Items should not be used on moving vehicles with sustained speeds of 75 miles per hour or greater. So, don't put it on your car then. That's what it's saying. It's like, this thing is very, very light. Um, it's made, I feel like it's made of plastic. But putting this on your car, if you're driving at 75 miles an hour, uh, which some people do, actually a lot of people do, this thing is gonna fly off. So if you're driving on the highway at 75 miles an hour or greater, it's gonna fly off and smash your windscreen or at least chip it or something. So really, this is a stupid thing to put on your car. I don't think anybody should put this on their car because you will have to uh, drive that speed. Or you, I mean, obviously there's no posted limits that go that fast, but some places there might be, you know what I mean? So. I mean, it's a cool idea. It's like a, you know, it, the way it sits, it can curve over your hood and it's like, you know, it's like one of those old school cars, like kind of a Rolls Royce-ish kind of look, except way tackier, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I got the flash and I can tell you right now, I am not putting this on my car. You know what I mean? I don't want it to scratch the paint or anything like that. But we have a very silvery, dark gray, black theme going on. But those are the items that are within. Now I have, I have to, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually is a car, this box. So I gotta do some folding cheese and turn it into a 3D vehicle. I don't know how this is gonna happen, but as we know, we're gonna figure it out and it's gonna sit like on top like this. This is gonna be insane, guys. We'll figure it out and we'll be right back. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have it. Check it out, that's kinda neat, man. That big old V8 right up in front, that is neat. Now the thing is, there was three colors. I got blue, which is awesome because that's my favorite. That you could also got it in red or green, and apparently, uh, when you're supposed to take a picture of it and like, you know, do something like that. You know what I mean? You know, some gangster. Wait, hold on. Let's do some gangster shit. There you go. How's that? And then you basically tweet it to Loot Crate with the hashtag Speed Blue because I'm Speed Blue, bro. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hashtag this. Yo, dog. Here's my picture, this is my picture for the tweet. How's that? Was that good? I'd say, I'd say we're gonna win, let's see who's winning. But, and on the bottom, it says, eat my dust in the speed. Very clever. Anyway, that's actually one of the cooler uh, Loot Crate boxes ever because, well, you know me, I'm, an auto, I'm very much an auto enthusiast. So this is, this is really cool. I really like the fact that they included a lot of car stuff among other things as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the Loot Crate unboxing for the month of September, Speed. Uh, I do apologize again, it took so long to get here, but you know how it is, things happen, etc., etc. And you can, and the mail, you know, it takes, I don't know what's been going on with the mail lately, but it's some cheese, you know what I mean? It's not very clean, so anyway. I didn't mind this one, there were a lot of smaller items. I do like the shirt a hell of a lot. I think this shirt is dope. I would actually wear this just because of the style and everything, I think it's amazing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well, and if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, what was your favorite item? Did you like this crate? Did you not like it? Did you get your own? You gotta let me know these thoughts, man, let me know, damn. Anyway. Also, be sure to like and favorite my pages on social media, or follow them, rather. Those are down below in the description, and I'll play the end card of this video. If you want to get your own shirt or hoodie from my shop, there's a link to that in the description as well. If you'd like to get your own Loot Crate subscription, and you can unbox it yourself, <laughs> there is a link in the description. It'll take you right there. Uh, you can pick various subscription choices. You can actually just order one box at a time if you really want to. Uh, obviously though, whichever one you go with, if you do decide to, be sure to use my promo code. That's Team8000. That is also right underneath that link. Just copy and paste it. That'll save you 10% on whichever order you go with. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me today. Take it easy, have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's hand things over to Noxel. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000, wait a minute, hold that stylist style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash. The bed intruder got that glocking, got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill.
Yeah. It was never ever a game. I'm out.